Hello and welcome. If you're traveling in any tropical regions and you have a chance to meet this fish, then here are some tips on how to avoid any unpleasant situations. This is a spot fin porcupine fish, or diadone hystrix. I don't want to have any relations with this fish, but I caught it accidentally since I was fishing for barracuda for dinner. And since this happened, I'm going to show you how to deal with this fish. The first challenge will be to get the hook out of her mouth. I do not recommend you put your finger in his mouth, since I'm going to use a special instrument. These fish's teeth are fused together into a single unit, and they are as hard as stone. This fish can easily eat any sea urchins, mollusks, and crabs. The second challenge will be putting this fish back into the water. I don't recommend anyone touches this fish with his or her bare hands. Her scales transform into sharp needles, which are about three to four centimeters in length. When the fish is relaxed, the spines lay on its body, but once the fish is alarmed, they spike up at a 90 degree angle. This fish is really heavy and the skin is really slimy. It is really hard to carry and only the tail and back fins are free of any spines. This fish can reach up to a meter in length and three kilograms in weight. You have to be really careful with this fish. You should also probably wear gloves. I have to bring this fish back into the water now, but since it is so slimy, I have to use clamps. When the fish feels threatened, it begins to pump water or air into its stomach through the gill opening near the pectoral fin. It is important to mention this fish is not going to die if it inflates. It is a defense mechanism. It can do it multiple times a day to simply protect its reef territory or its life. Inflating, however, is not a natural occurrence for these fish, and it does take a few hours for them to get back to their normal metabolic condition. We do not recommend you inflate it for fun. When you're swimming around this fish, try not to come close it will feel threatened and you might puncture you with the spine which can be very painful. Besides, there is a very dangerous toxin that is present on the skin of the porcupine fish. Tetradoxin is present in the porcupine fish and puffer fish skin, liver, and gannad. This toxin is a very powerful neurotoxin which is a hundred times more powerful than cyanide. Luckily, the molecules of the tetradoxin cannot pass through the skin barrier. However, if you do have any open wounds, it can get into the bloodstream, so wear gloves just in case. This toxin can get into your body through the ingestion of the fish's meat or organs. It is a common culture of food for many regions like Tahiti, Haiti, or any Caribbean island. In Japan, they make a traditional sushi called fugu. It's called Japanese roulette. Only licensed chefs can cook this fish, and in spite of this, there are still many cases of poisoning. The lethal rate from poisoning is 7%. This powerful neurotoxin, when it enters the bloodstream, blocks the sodium channels. This prevents neurotransmission. You can die as a result of paralysis of the diaphragm or be in a coma. We can recommend avoiding this fish entirely and avoid eating this fish as well. Its conservation status does not raise any concerns. Their population is very stable, thanks to its spines and its tetradoxin. They have very big, adorable eyes. They are nocturnal predators who feed on crustaceans and small fish. The color is spotted gray, which allows him to camouflage in order to not be noticed by any larger predators in the coral reefs. When the fish still feels threatened, he will not let the air out of its body, and he will play dead until he feels absolutely safe. He's a pretty good actor, I'd say. The mouth of the fish stays almost always open. This can be due to its very heavy jaws. And finally, when he feels absolutely safe and feels deep water below him, he begins to release the air from his stomach and quickly go back to normal. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any questions, comments, and concerns below, and don't forget to subscribe.